oh man, oh man, 1,000 inches per minute in 1018 steel. Boom, yesterday's video is already blowing up, but today is a new day, all right? So I'm on the Autodesk Power Mill software, and we took our 5% radial engagement and actually doubled it to 10%. All right, so our axial depth of cut in Z is 800 thousandths, and our radial depth is 50 thousandths, and we're going to continue to run at 1,000 inches per minute. Oh, CNC machining. Oh man, having some fun over here, all right? So before we start cutting some chips, I just wanna invite you guys, if you love what we're throwing down, please hit the subscribe button. If you love the video, hit the like button. And if you have some ideas on videos and teaching you wanna see in the future, put it in the comments. You might see it in a future vlog. Machine gunning some chips against that back wall at a thousand inches a minute. Oh, and look at the tool, look at the tool. It looks so beautiful. Look at that, look at that. Oh man. I figured I'd leave it in the holder. A lot of you were actually asking me about what type of holder it is. It is a Hydroforce from Kenna Metal. It's a hydraulic holder and it is a beast, all right? So we doubled our step over from our previous video and that put the pressure right about 60%. And that's exactly where I wanted to go on the DMU 50. And that's something important to consider, right? Not everybody's gonna run at a thousand inches per minute. You might not have those RPMs and you might not have that speed, but this tool is a beast. So maybe you take 
double the depth of cut that I took, maybe triple the depth of cut, or you even go deeper than I went. So depending on all the variables, the application, the machine, the rigidity, all of it, you guys look at your own applications and figure out that sweet spot for you. My purpose here was simply to educate you on an amazing tool, an amazing tool path, and show you that it's possible. All right, so think outside the box, make it happen. Love this trade, love you guys. Boom.